Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and we're going to start with a window card this morning. I have um, Easter's coming up, and so what I want to do is to be able to make um, some Easter cards for my grandchildren. So we're going to hit the new button, and I'm using a 12 by 12 mat. If you're using the mini, or if you're using the 12 by 24, whatever, choose your mat, and let's go from there. Now I am going to start out with, um, i tell you, let's go to, um, I want something that I know has a frame on it. I know close to my heart, Art Philosophy does, and it's this little button right here, okay? Now I've already done two of these, and I've done um, two different types of, of Easter bunnies, and I think this time I'm going to look for either a duck or a butterfly, and I haven't even looked yet, so we'll look together. But I want a round circle right here, second one down, and I am going to make this a... Um, five by five. I'm going to put my ratio button on because I want it exact. I want five inches. Okay. And if you zoom in, you can see it's just a scalloped edge all the way around. Okay. Now, I want two of these. So go to the advanced key, copy it, set it run one right on top of another so you want it exact and you'll know because it'll turn yellow when it's exactly one on top of the other see how it's just turned yellow now if I just push this up push the whole card up and did it side by side it will not match up the scallops will not match so what you have to do is you have to hit the flip button which is right here flip it one hit and you flipped it and see how it doesn't line up now then push it up leave it just the way it is, push it all the way up keep going keep going and as you can see it's sliding up little bit by little bit and when you get up here I want a flat bottom where uh, the fold is going to be is right up here okay now I want to first off I'm going to uh, let's see go to the basic hit the high of uh, the uh, group button touch the second one so I've got the two grouped together now go back to the advanced button and hit weld look at it by hitting the preview button and you'll see that it cuts perfect it's got a fold right in there they've been welded together take off your preview button slide it up so you can see highlight this card this portion of the card so it turns purple once it turns purple hit the hide contour and get rid of that circle in the inside so now that you've got a window on the front but you've got a um, flat on the bottom okay now we've got that and um, I'm going to while we're here hit the plus button hit copy and bring them over so that we've got them on the next page and I'll go back to that in a minute but I want to finish up with here I'm going to hide page two just know that it's there okay and it's the exact size that our, our sheet is right now now what we're going to do is um, zoom out and let's find some artwork let's find some cutesy things um, let's go to oh right here um, did the wrong thing. I want find. So I did a little uh, cricket. And let's see if we can't get a little ducky. Um, D. I don't know if it'll go all the way to duck, but we'll find out here in a minute. No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's go to this and do duck. U C K. Okay and duck and it's doing its search right now I hope you have your coffee I have my drink with me see I got my little crystal light uh, they've got some cute little duckies 
a child's year has one. B is for boy. I don't have that one. Camp out. Create a critter has a cute little ducky. I think I'm going to go to create a critter. Yeah, I don't want anything quite as complicated as uh, the Disney one. Now we'll go to create a critter right over here. And all you have to do is hit the create a critter and it takes you right to it right there. Okay. And he's this one right here. So we've got our little duck. And let's put him on here. Get him right on the circle. Oh, I think I just went a little bit too big. And he's taking up that. Okay. We've got our little duck, and let's take him to layer two also, and just put a copy of him here so we can get his little parts. We've got him the same size as we've got him on layer one, and that's all we wanted to do at this point. Now go back to layer one, and let's see what else goes with the duck if, we, if we've got um, some phrase or something that goes with him. No, we don't want a rainy day. Is there anything else that goes with the little ducky guy? Hmm. What do ducks have besides quack quack? Maybe there maybe there's something that says quack. Well, we can just leave it off to the side. Let's just leave him like he is off to the side. There's plenty of space there. I mean, there's just a little portion of the window left. We'll just, this is a nice simple window card. Now, when you see my window cards that I, I did, I've done three of them, and I'll show them to you in a little bit. But here we go. We've got that. Now, what we want to do on the front of the card now is we want to take and grab the card that's been already highlighted, go to the basic key, hit the highlight button, hit the little ducky. Okay, now everything is turned blue. Go back to the advanced key, hit weld, and then look at the little eye, and you'll see it previews it and it's going to cut perfect. You can see all the little in here. Let me zoom in for you. See how everything's turned red and it's going to cut out? We will have a little window pane, which is fine, which is fine. Okay, now, let's go to our page two. Oops, hit the wrong button. Uh, page layer two, hide layer one. Now, just for a minute, we're going to hide layer one. Zoom out so we can see. And we need only one of these circles, and we need the one that has um, uh, the, the inside of the circle has been cut out. So I am going to go back to the basic key, hit the X button, and it gets rid of that. Now, just for a minute, we're going to show layer one because what I want is I want this one here to fit inside of that to be a separate color. And I am going to bring it down and I want it bigger than the, the little hole that's on the front. But I still want a little bit of edge around it. See if you can see what I mean. See how you can see that gray line there and you see the blue? and you see the cut of where the inside of the circle is going to be, I want it like that so that you can see the circle. Okay? You can see, but I want a little bit of edge around it so you can see I'm going to use a double-sided uh, floral paper or some colored paper, and this will be a contrasting color. Okay? Now, what I also want to do, so let's hide layer one. We've got it the size we want. What I also want to do is I want to make it so it folds so that you can't see the writing on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like we did to the first page. I'm going to uh, make a copy and I'm going to line it up so it's perfectly one on top. Not perfectly, perfect. It's just one right on top of the other. Some, there we go. It just disappeared and turned yellow up here. You can see it. Then I want to flip it and I want to bring it up. See how we're doing this all over again? And then I want to go back to basic, hit the, uh, the group button, touch that one. We've got them now grouped together. Now we have to weld them together. 
check the cut and see how it cuts perfect okay now we've got that now let's get our little ducky pieces whoops take off that let's get our little ducky pieces hmm we might have to let's bring him to another page so that we can see everything side by side okay so we've got the little duck go to the basic I've got this where they're all the same size. We don't want them all the same size. We want them to be in a perfect ratio with each other. So we took off the aspect ratio button. Okay, now we've got the base of the little duck. And he's right here. We want his inside. So we've got that. We want layer two. We've got that. Layer two, the little worm, or is it that duck? Layer three, uh, there's the duck's legs and his beak. Okay, good, very good. We've got him. Okay, I think we've got all the little pieces to the duck. Let's just check the shift key to be sure. Layer one. No, we don't need the umbrella. That's what the umbrella was. Okay, so we're good we're good okay so we've got all the little pieces of the duck now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that because I do my cards two up okay I'm going to ungroup them and I'm gonna go back and ungroup this one also and then I'm going to set them color by color together so that uh, when I'm cutting them and I want to get this to fit within. I don't want to flip it. I just want to turn them around so that I can get the two little um, duckies in a um, six by six square is what I'm trying to do. And we now have them in here. Okay, he's in a six by six. Move that over just a little bit there we go now let's zoom back out take and put those two pieces to okay put this one and this one together and I have to do that too. turn it around to be able to get them to fit zoom in Isn't it nice kind of, to have Gypsy Made Simple back again? I tell you what, it's uh, just the day after. It's Monday. And so no one's linked up yet, but I have had 25 downloads of last week's um, card. So hopefully people will start making them and linking them up. It would be nice to see what your cards look like. I just love our Gypsy Made Simple time together. And... I'm not sure what this piece is, but we're going to cut it. I suppose I could have looked at the book, but silly me. I mean, good grief. I never, since I've got my gypsy, I very seldom look at the book. I should go get my, um, I've got all my little books put away. I should go get my um, Kindle Fire because I've got the little book on there, but I can double check that. To, I'll do that before I look at the colors and actually choose the colors okay now we've got the little duck let's save this thing save as uh, shift lock card space space 5 by 5 space Easter I have six grandchildren so I've got six of these Easter cards in there oops duck I have two different kinds of bunnies. Okay, now let's go back to layer two, hide layer three. We can get rid of that duck because we've got them on page three. And so we'll X that out. But we need, oops, we need two of these, so let's just copy it, set it on the sheet, and hopefully, oops, hopefully this will fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and then I can use an inexpensive cardstock if it does. And it's not going, well, let's see what the, no, it's not going to because it's going to be 10 by 10. 
so it'll be a 12 by 12 sheet of paper because we see it's gone over well eight three no it's not they won't fit on an eight and a half by eleven but that's okay layer one we've got the card let's double him up move it over and we have a cut now I use the same process with the other cards that I did hit your save button okay so we have them saved and let me show you in in my uh, gypsy what I've got here so that you can see uh, first off let's go to um, open and I'm starting to get uh, do you believe my um, my gypsy sink went down and so now I have um, okay I've got a 5x5 five five Easter here's one of the bunny ones see how I have it two up got the little pieces of the bunny just like last time the only thing I didn't do is I didn't do the fold over and you know what I want to do that with you so let's do that right now uh, duplicate that and uh, look at I did exactly what I said don't do set them one right on top of another there we've got them one on top of the other flip it in this case since it's all the way at the top I'm bringing it down and we want to group group and weld zoom out and now I'm going to get rid of this one delete it and I'm going to take whoops take and just duplicate this one so now I've got doubles on this also this one is almost ready to cut just want to look at my own oh, good thing I looked at the edge I've got it over the edge a little bit let's move this one over a little bit too okay now let's hit the save button oops since I altered it save and I'll show you the third card open and I think that one says card Easter 2 up and that too is a bunny but it's a different bunny I use the bunny from Simply Charmed I use the bunny from um, Create a Critter and then now the duck from Create a Critter now I'm not going to bore you with this it's the same concept the only thing is I'm going to go back and make that fold so that the inside of the card has that double you know has a fold so that you can't see all the way through because I do have a little bit of extra space on this and um, I would like to have that that nice little fold so I'll see you back in a few minutes when we'll be able to put some cards together